Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. Um, so today I am filming my second year university um, results video. I actually did get my results a little while ago. I didn't film it as a live reaction, which I feel like actually would have been really funny and really like tense to watch. But the build up for the couple of days before my results day, um, I was just constantly stressed and I was like worried that they were gonna send me an email and that the results were out early and then in the morning I was just like constantly like refreshing my emails like too too stressed to even think about filming it but I feel like yeah that would have been really good I probably will do that next year actually which should be interesting because that's you know the most important result so I have my um second year uni results um they're quite interesting. <laughs> Let me just give you a bit of a background in case you've kind of, I don't know, maybe clicked on this video if you, if you don't know anything about me. I am a second year university student at the University of York. Um, so I'm studying English. Well, our course is just, yeah, just English. I'm straight English, but basically it's English literature. Oh, also, um, last year I got 66. Keep that in the back of your mind, guys. Um, so yeah, last year's result was a 66 um, after, you know, the whole average um, of all my grades. So how it works at our uni on our course is that we are assessed by both essays well actually we're assessed by essays exams and presentations the essays in the exam were 20 credits each and then um the one presentation we had this year last year we had two this year we only had one presentation and that's only 10 credits so basically the essays and then the exam um, are the most important over the year i had how many essays did i have I had three essays over terms one and two and then i had two exams at the end i had my kind of main english the exam is called critical questions so it's the kind of literary theory critical theory uh, module that if you do english i'm sure you you know and also on our course for second year you have to take a foreign literature module so I decided to do Dante so basically um, we had two different kind of foreign literature modules one of them you only had it for the last two terms of uni so that's the spring term and the summer the spring term and the summer term um, the one I decided to do Dante which was the Italian module it goes on into third year as well so I'm going to take it on to the first term ie autumn term of third year right so let's get into the results so in first term um, which was the autumn term of second year the critical um critical questions module that runs throughout the whole year and you don't really get assessed on that during the the terms you literally just do one big exam at the end so the other two modules are the ones that i had to write um 3, word essays for and those two modules were the early renaissance and british and irish literature 1910 to present for those um essays i already know the grades for them um we don't get them right at the end we just get them if few weeks after we've submitted the essay for the early renaissance i got 67 so not too bad if you're watching this video um you probably know quite a bit about the grading system but in the uk universities um i'm pretty sure it's standardized everywhere but everything's out of 100 percent 70 percent is the first 60 percent is a 2 1 50 percent is a 2 2 40 percent is a third yeah and then below that below 40 percent is a fail english particularly it's very hard to get anything much above the 70 mark just because unlike subjects where it's like maths or science where the grading is just dependent on whether you get strict answers there aren't there's not much leeway there it's either you get the answer right or you get it wrong whereas with english um because it's very you know it's obviously essay based yeah the grading tends to be kind of you're not going to get much higher than 70 basically there have been like i've heard people getting 80s and stuff but it's quite rare i don't know depending on what course you're doing um it might sound like 67 isn't that great but to be fair for an english essay it's pretty decent so i wasn't too heartbroken about that and then the british and irish um literature module i got 65 so yeah we're looking at the kind of high to one um point which is pretty okay and then so we had the second term I only had one um, essay to write and then I had the Dante module which I wasn't actually assessed for in spring term so the other module that I had to write again a 3,000 word essay for was the romantic period and um, unfortunately I got well it's not too bad but I got 61 so again I already knew that grade it's not horrendous but um, I actually it's so funny how this always happens with English I feel like that some of, sometimes the essays you work really really hard on you actually do worse than and then some of the essays that not that you don't work hard at all but maybe you didn't put quite as much effort and you end up actually end up getting a higher grade with that essay i don't put so much effort into it and i'm usually like i'm not gonna lie quite a last minute person but i remember like getting all my research done i was like planning and like starting to do this essay like weeks before and then i ended up with the 61 which was like a slap in the face but it's okay so yeah that is a low two one but again you know it's not too bad we're still looking at you know mid two one we're gonna go into the three 
um, results that basically came out in the summer as like the proper results day. Obviously the things that you do in the summer are like exams and stuff so those are the ones that I didn't know about that I was very stressed about finding out. So I'll start off with um, our presentation. So we had one 15 minute um, group presentation that we had to give and that was for another module that I picked, a topic module called Shakespeare in Depth. Um, basically I had to give a presentation on King Lear and we did one with like paintings which was apparently very original. Um, but yeah, we were pretty happy with our presentation. Um, it was very stressful because people had only just finished exams um, so we had literally less than a week to like put it all together. Very very stressful but in the end it kind of paid off because we got 75 uh, which is a pretty solid mark. Everyone always kind of strives to do well in the presentations because even though there are only 10 credits so they're not that much I think that equates to about 8% um, of your overall grade it is an easy way to kind of help pump up your grade because it's kind of easy to get a high mark on basically. And then so the two proper main ones um, these are the ones that I sat exams for my um, foreign literature module Italian um, Dante and critical questions so Dante um, I did surprisingly well in. In all honesty I was like focusing so much on the critical questions exam because there is so much content to know like you just need to know a lot a lot of content. Generally the critical um, kind of field tends to be very difficult there are very big kind of abstract ideas so it's really difficult reading a lot of really difficult reading so I focus so so much on that um, and actually to be honest I left my Italian and um, said so the Dante kind of revision quite last minute but yeah did surprisingly well so I had two kind of different exams for that I had a proper um, kind of sit in a hall exam um, which was a translation exam basically we had we had two seen passages so passages we would have you know done in class and then one unseen passage which is one that we wouldn't have um, yeah, seen in class. If you guys, you know, know about um, the Divine Comedy, it's a massive epic poem split into three parts, Inferno, Purgatory and Paradise. Yeah, we obviously couldn't cover all of the content, so there are just a few canti, um, which are the little individual sections of the poem that we basically covered in class. So two of those we had to um, translate, not the full ones, I think they were 30, about 30, 40 line passages that we had to translate and then one that we would not have seen. And um, I actually got 74 on that exam, um, which I was really, really over the moon. Um, about because yeah I was like really really stressing about that so I was pretty happy with that and then we had an open essay which we just had to write a commentary on a section um, that we would be given a section that we had to yeah basically just analyze in detail that's what a commentary is I guess we had to just do a 1500 word open essay they gave us six days and in that I got a 68 so I was pretty happy with that so yeah overall 74 and 68 um, it balanced out to an overall mark of 71 so yeah very very happy with how the Dante module when and finally um, I feel like this was the the big one critical questions um, so that one I didn't do so well in um, it wasn't horrendous but it wasn't the best and that's kind of how I felt coming out of the exam anyway I shouldn't have been too surprised by the grade and in all honesty I wasn't um, because I literally came out of the exam thinking I'm not really sure how that went it wasn't I, knew, I definitely knew I hadn't done really well but I didn't think I'd completely failed which kind of reflects the grade so I got 59 I was like a little bit disappointed because even when you feel like you've not done the best you kind of hope that maybe the results come and you've actually done better so I was a little disappointed with the grade but I was I tried not to beat myself up too much because it's still only like it's a high 2-2 so it's almost a 2-1 um, and yeah I, I'll be honest I feel like the exam didn't go amazingly so I wasn't too surprised with that so yeah basically um, I've said a lot of numbers at you but what that means is overall so um, I actually calculated the average on my own it took me ages I've not done math stuff in ages well you know except that math GCSE paper but I forgot how to work out weighted averages because obviously they all have different um, percentages but eventually I worked it out and um, yeah it meant I got 66 overall and when I worked it out I was still panicking I was like maybe that's not maybe I've not worked that out right but yeah it actually I got a kind of slip that says every individual grade and they've calculated the average and it is exactly 66.0 um, so bang on 66 which is you know all right um it's a kind of mid high t1 so not too bad the only thing is yeah i did like i said i got 66 last year um so i was hoping that i would have like you know improved a little um but i think it was those especially particularly the two grades the 59 in the critical questions and that 61 in the romantic um essay i wasn't like 
you know, over the moon, but to be honest, I'm pretty happy. I feel like, you know, um, especially this year, my exam period, I feel like I was mentally okay <laughs> compared to my last um, exam period. I feel like it's really stupid because with first year, it doesn't count at all towards my grade, you know, at all. Um, so I really shouldn't have beat myself up about it that much. But last year I was really, 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 really stressed. Like my mental health was just, it was down the drain. It was just horrible. Whereas I feel like this year, obviously I was stressed, like, you know, like anyone doing exams would be, but I feel like it was a more manageable amount of stress like I didn't let it get to me too much and I've ended up with the same grade anyway so I'm really happy with that I feel like next year I'm like so 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 excited to do my dissertation I feel like I've got a pretty exciting idea next year is completely essay based as well exams definitely stress me out a lot I'm not saying essays aren't stressful they definitely are I can't take the anxiety of like building up for an actual exam where you just go and sit in a hall and you have like two hours to basically get everything right so next year I have no exams at all so I feel like next year should be a better year I do have like double the amount of essays that I've ever had to write so I'm going to be writing and reading a lot next year which is going to be fun um but yeah I do feel a little bit better knowing that there aren't any exams and that I've got a dissertation which is completely you know my own idea something that I'm really passionate about and really interested in right so yeah I said that was going to be a quick video and it ended up not being that quick but um I hope you you know enjoyed listening to me ramble about my grades I will be doing like a full um like I did last year if you want to check that out I've already made my full first year university experience but I will be doing that again later a bit like further down into summer also I've got a very 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 interesting uh housemate story time coming um sips tea <laughs> that's gonna be a video full of drama but you, you guys just wait for it that that will also be coming you can find out um how I lived for the last year like I said I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up um where's the fire alarm going off oh god didn't my mum literally just walk in? When the drama's that hot. Okay, don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already. And um, turn on those post notifications if you would like to be notified um, as soon as I post a video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!